one other point. Moreover, if you read Isaiah 9, it actually for prophesies the incarnation. It says, Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and he'll be called Wonderful Cancer, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Well, it does say in Isaiah chapter 9, uh, 5 and 6 or 6 and 7, depending how your Bible's written, who wrote it, it says that a, a child would be born to us, uh, a ch and, and uh, upon his shoulder would be placed um, the government, and, and not only that, his name shall be called, he shall be called uh, Prince of Peace, you know, the Il Gibor, you know, mighty, mighty, mighty God. God. See, but the problem is that that text had been mistranslated by your Bible. Your Bible is a new international version, and what it did was the translators, and this is in the 70s, mistranslated the words in order to make them appear Christological. In fact, all those verbs are all in the past tense, talking about a child who had already been born. One other point is that child is a, a great man. There was only one person in the Bible who's called the mighty God. Who is that person? There's only one. Hezekiah, not Jesus. Jesus is never called the mighty God in the Christian Bible, but Hezekiah, Chazak, that's the first part of his name, the mighty, and the last part, the your part, that is the part of divinity. So in fact, what is the context of Isaiah chapter 9, chapter 8, chapter 10, 11? What is it all talking about? Well, it's all talking about the, the war where Assyria, 2730 years ago, went to war against Jerusalem and God had protected that city in the days of Hezekiah, that great king, the father of Manasseh, and so that the, the Assyrian army was destroyed overnight. That occurred on the first day of Passover. And therefore the nation said, you are, you should be called this name. That's why the term is Vayikra Shemoy, his name has been called. Do you know what your Bible does to that, the Christian Bible? It changes it to the future to make it look like a future messianic prophecy. Jewish names in scripture usually have God's name in it. You know, Elijah's name really is means, you know, Jehovah is God. Doesn't mean that Elijah is God. Isaiah in chapter 7 is called God when in verse 10. Um, uh, there are um, uh, some altars that are called God by Jacob. Judges are called God by, in the book of Psalms in chapter 8. Doesn't mean judges are actually God. It means that they, rep they are agents of God and thus they get that magnificent name. So certainly would never look to Isaiah 9 as an instruction for believing that a man is God, but we would thank the Almighty that, ha, ah, what a great king the Jewish people had. It be called wonderful cancer, the mighty God, the everlasting father, the everlasting father, the everlasting father, the everlasting father.